Greetings everyone and welcome back to the town of Medusa's Raft in Rimworld Alpha 16 and you have no idea how thankful I am to be able to greet you back to this Let's Play. As those of you who follow me on Twitter may already know, I encountered a bit of a problem when one of the mods updated and in so doing broke the save file in, in quite a major way. So much so, in fact, that it took me a long while to even work out that it was a mod that was responsible for the break because it seemed so absolute. I could only really reason that it, it was uh, an update to the game that could have done that. But uh, no, it was a mod. And the mod responsible was work tab. After several hours and a cup of frankly criminally strong coffee, I managed to manually go through the save file and rebuild it. Uh, most of it is held together by dreams and positive feelings at the moment, so I'm a little bit dubious as to how long the series may be able to continue, but if if nothing should become apparent in the next episode or two, then I'm, I'm just going to thank my lucky stars and assume that we manage to get out of that with the very bare minimum of, of issues, but uh, wow. So yes, work tab is gone, unfortunately. We're back to the, the basic system. Now, I do want to stress that, that the developer is already aware of what went wrong and has actually addressed it. The fix didn't, unfortunately, come, in, uh, come fast enough to help me, as is the case sometimes. Once once a bug has done enough damage, it's, it's like, yeah, that's not going to... That's not going to get repaired, uh, especially the issue with save compatibility between multiple versions. But we are here now, and hopefully we are here to stay. Now, that being said, I noticed something which is actually distressing me quite a lot. Will you please put back those bloody torches, my lord? Um, anything else I particularly want to work on? I would really like these slate chunks brought in because we desperately, desperately need slate blocks. What? Machining? What? The machining table just went down? No. How annoying. Ooh, what just happened to Wendy? Is Wendy alright? Let me check on social. Um, no, nothing particular. Oh, Balthazar. You've got to bond with Wendy. Wendy shall be Balthazar. Oh, no. Damn it, Balthazar, no wonder your mood has, has not been great lately. I need, I need to have this improved. Right, Balthazar, once again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Um, Dark Avak would understand. Uh, Balthazar, you're pretty much going to have a priority one on handling animals. And we need to find whatever Balthazar can, can train. Let's, let's actually have a look at you. What's your animal skill? It's only two. Well, there's a good couple of things that you'll be able to tame, I believe. Um, namely, you can tame turkeys, I think. Uh, let's just double check that. Um, trainable intelligence, minimal ha Oh, wow. Oh, that's an ostrich. No wonder. Yes. This turkey, I was like, really? An ostrich needs a, an animal taming skill? Of no. Lies. Uh, but no, that makes sense. Uh, what about the boom rats? Probably a reasonable one. Yeah, six. What about the squirrels? But probably quite a high one as well. How, how does one tame a bloody squirrel? Um, that is, that is, I mean, okay, wild rabbit, yes. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll let you off on that one. Um, that is also a six. So it looks like you're going to be the turkey whisperer for a little while, but it's, it's, um, all for the, for the best of causes. It's easier to tame a boar than it is to tame a rabbit. They call shenanigans on that one, though. And not to say that the rabbit should be easier, but simply that the boar should, frankly, be harder to, uh, keep everything... Balanced. Um, you are probably dying, aren't you? Yes, more than likely. Uh, I am going to, for the time being, make sure that no one else can handle. No one else does handling for now. Balthazar, you are our only hope when it comes to handling. I'll actually drop that down to a two, just to make sure that other things get done if if need be. Um, for example, growing. I'll put her on a three. Get your other work out of the way, but you're going to be responsible for doing a lot of uh, a lot of that from now on. All right, we've got a couple of these going around. That is great. Let's pull this down. Cargo pods. Please be slate. Oh, 
well, you know what? Really? Did you break through? You broke through my roof? You wretch! How dare you? My goodness. Smashed through my roof, it did. Uh, ooh, actually, that's a bloody good point. Where can this go? Okay, so we can go at least... Uh, oh, no, 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 that's roofed. Oh, drat. Well, I hadn't considered that. Um... Well, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do something with this. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. We are going to... Can I put that there? Yes, okay. What we're going to do then, we are going to install a roof over this section. And keep that part roofed. And we'll make some sort of little outdoors gazebo-y thing. Um, we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Hopefully I can get power out there enough to uh, run some lights out there. Maybe have two two couches or something. Just, you know, so people can sit out there with the animals. It'll be, it'll be lovely. Right, this floor has been smoothed down here, which I'm very thankful for. Let's go ahead and get the soil placed down. Now, um, ruined by temperature. That is, that is rather unfortunate. Okay. Uh, anything else going on? We've got a lot of weapons, actually. Balthazar, I super want you to have the sniper we uh, sniper rifle. Sleepy Joe, what's your skill? Your... Uh, it's not great. Um, you've got a bow at the moment. Do you drop? I think you're actually really good. Yeah, you are. So you get the assault rifle next. Charadan, you've got a four. Uh, Sleepy Joe, you get the LMG then. And Jaradan can have the survivor rifle. Lisa, you're fine with that. And Miss Minnie. Um, to be fair, you can grab the peeler. Actually, perhaps you should grab the Molotov cocktail instead. You know, because you, you, someone has to have it. And that should be good enough for now. Okay, well, we're getting all of our work done, which I'm thankful for. I'm a little bit concerned about the power right now. Could you please feel the generator? Um, for the time being, I am actually going to designate the power off to these. Let's just get those shut down for just the time being. Hello? You shall be tamed. There we go. That should help out a little bit with storing up power. Because right now, we are suffering a little bit with that. Uh, do you drop? You do not haul things, do you? No. Jaradan, could you haul that in? Rather than waste it. Uh, Boris is having a bit of a kip there, fair enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Um, uh, we don't need more human meat right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not allow human-like corpses, and then I'm going to add a separate bill that does allow human-like corpses and do forever. And then I am going to promptly suspend it. It's going to upset Lisa, but, you know, it has to be done. Um, the next thing, though, one thing that has been mentioned to me, the way that we cook fine meals. Currently, we cook fine meals here, and they re-enable at 10, but these fine meals re-enable at 25, which means that we would never produce the fancy norms. Thank you so much for catching my mistake there in the comments. If it weren't for you, then Dark Abak would go the rest of his life without the delicious fancy norms that are humans. But now, now, he has you to thank. Well done, Dapplings. You are embracing this cannibalism thing. I'm very proud of you. Uh, right, Balthazar, let's have a quick gander at you. Um, you know what? I actually do want that armor too. Uh, unfortunately, that's being a bit of a pain, isn't it? Hmm. We're going to need to deal with that. We've already turned the power off there. So there's not a lot more that I can do about it, but... Hmm. Except get these up and running. Alright, let's, let's get that... Mm, yeah, let's get these unforbid first. And those. And these. There we go. Hopefully we can get most of this work done fairly quickly. But we do need these bricks. Ooh, matter animal. Ooh, a boomerlope. That's actually a bit of a rough one. 
Uh, Balthazar, Sleepy Joe, um, Jaradan, and Dewdrop. Let's get all of you outside. Let's just get you down there. You should be able to take it out from there. And then in the very near future, I'm going to want you to finish off that wall. We'll start with that one. Now, where is that boomer up? Eh, it's kind of on its way. Uh, let's continue on. Come over here, you. So we can kill you out in the open, please. There we go. Well done. Uh, I guess you could probably put out the fires if you really want to. Please don't stand on the fires. That would be kind of silly. You can go there, there, and there. Let's get these fires out as fast as we can. Oh, you don't do that. Okay, fair enough then. You're good. Thank you. Let's try and put these out as fast as we can. There we go. Well done. You are actually beating the fire back right now, but it's getting pretty hot at the moment. You're probably going to get burnt, aren't you? Let's have you both working together. You could try and get put the fire off the boomalope, then we can uh, recover the carcass. Uh, a bit of extra noms for us. Where is... Did Balthazar actually come out with us? Oh. No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Balthazar was like, ah, you got this, guys. I don't need to be out there with you. And it looks like that's actually burning itself out right now. Uh, it's kind of spreading a little bit, so let's keep up with uh, getting the worst of the fire put out, shall we? There we go. Nice and nice and systematic. We'll easily be able to beat this thing, so let's speed up time a little bit. That being said, uh, you know what? Never mind. It is going to just keep getting annoying, so... Let's get back. If you could grab as much of the steel as you can, that would be grand. Thank you. It'll eventually burn itself out. One way or the other. Right, Miss Minnie working there. We'll also get these hauled in. You broke my table. I missed that. Oh, you scoundrel. Why would you do such a thing? My goodness. You just don't expect it. Right, how are things down here and out there? You're practically there. 2.2 hours. In fact, we may as well just stand here. Ooh, wow, look at those moods. Those moods are pretty pretty rubbish. The Nebula Bomb, it'll it'll get better. Don't worry about it too much, Nebula Bomb. But here we are. It's counting down. And finally, there we go. It's taken us a long time to get here. My goodness, I had no idea it would take this long. You've got a bunch of huskies Ooh, and Arctic wolves. <laughs> we, can, we can buy a human. No. It's okay. Thank you. Um, but that amuses me that you've even got that as an option. Uh, right, you can buy Luciferium. Oh, wow. That is impressive. We can even buy Vansidium if we wanted to. We don't, but we could. Uh, we brought a number of things here to trade. Um, we're not going to be trading those, but we may as well trade those. Uh, the Husky, I mean, they would be good. They would absolutely be good. Uh, life expectancy, leather amount, diet, carrying capacity 75. I'm not sure if it can be used as a pack animal, though. Um, I wouldn't mind. Oh, we'll also say, sell all of those feet. We've got a power arm for more money than we could possibly hope to uh, give. Bionic animal stomach. That's an uh, impressive piece of kit there. We're going to get rid of the machine pistol. We don't want it. And all of the dead one's clothes can go. We may actually make a tidy profit on this visit because it doesn't look like there's that much we, we, that we want. But what I'm going to do first, sell off all of the dead one's clothing. And then once we've gotten all of that gone, I'll confirm the trade just so that I can see how much our carrying of our carrying capacity remains. Then, based on that, we'll decide how much we want to take back. I'm thinking steel, probably. We could also go with components, maybe some medicine. It depends a little bit on what's available. Um, uh, yeah, okay, you can have the stools. You're not having the chair set, though. That's superior. Uh, okay, so we'll trade it. That is a lot of money. That is an awful lot of money for, for a bunch of people who are not very good traders. Nutrient paste is, there's no point. It's bad. Nutrient paste is just bad, but you have got a reasonable amount of medicine. I could take 
quite a lot of that. that. That may help us. We'll also sell the smoke leaf joints, actually. Well, it takes a little bit of the edge off. But yeah, we're going to take all of the medicine. Um, we could take some of the beer, I guess. Maybe. Maybe if if only for a, a couple of beers for the road, really. Just for, for Nebula Bomb and Dark Havoc to enjoy on the way back. Uh, there is steel. Let's see, how much... We've got very little. I, th I think it's probably going to be about 75. No. Yeah, we'll just take 75 steel, I guess. Um, no. Scarcely seems worth it. We'll, we'll take the beers, though. That seems a fair trade. In fact, we'll actually go all the way up to... We'll buy enough for the whole of the colony. We'll take 75 beers back with us. It is expensive. I know. But... We made a good bit of money on just trading dead people's clothing. I think I want to treat people in the colony a little bit. There is a flat screen television there, though. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, cover effectiveness, market value mass, entertainment strength factor, 120%. A high-tech flat screen television with a crystal clear image and rich color. More entertaining than a grainy tube TV. We could. I would have to cut down a lot on the beer, though. And, uh, yeah, I think I think they'll be willing to accept that loss. Sure. Okay, we're, we're going to... Well, in fact, let, let's have no beer. We're going to bring back TV instead. No. I've changed my mind. They're going to get ten beers, so they can they can drink a, a few on the way back. It's fine. Um, but we, we're going to have a load of medicine and a new TV and some beers. I think that is a reasonable trade. All things considered, I am very, very happy with that indeed. And we can head back to Medusa's Raft. Uh, really? It only says it's going to take three days and 18 hours? Ah, of course. We've actually gotten rid of a lot of weight. Hmm. Reasonable trade there, I feel. I mean, it's not the best, certainly, but certainly not the worst either. Right, let's uh, get the majority of this sorted out. Oh, wonderful. You've already done the work down here as well. Let's go ahead and start getting all of this done then. Uh, we have done the um, work down here as well. Let's go ahead and plow the soil there. And then, or rather as well as setting this up. Now, what do we need at the moment? Are we doing okay for food? You know what? I actually kind of feel we are. This is growing amazingly fast. We need to start turning that into medicine. Like, that is growing crazy good. We've got plenty of meat. Hmm. I'm thinking cotton. I genuinely feel that cotton would be the better thing for us to have right now. So let's go ahead with cotton. Because we're going to have hay grass in here as well. So it seems reasonable. There we go. Let's get everything sorted out. And then we should be good. There we are. Cargo pods as well. Let's go and have a look at what we've got there. Ooh, we have got some chem fuel. Now, that is important for us. And the reason why that is important is because we can build a chem fuel generator. If we want to, we can go to power. Mainly to research it. Yes, we'll need to research refining, but we can actually build a generator that will run off that. Which will be particularly useful for us. Now... One thing I would like to check out is, in terms of work, hmm, Veronica and I would actually like you to work on cleaning as a secondary priority. Uh, is there anyone else then available? You're doing construction work. Well, and you're not doing construction in sleeping jar, like you hauling. In fact, I'm going to make these jobs secondary priorities. We need to get it done. The The camp looks terrible right now. Looks absolutely wretched. Uh, right, let's go ahead and pull these down. Minor break risk. Psychic drone is ending. Oh, fantastic. Very happy to hear that. Super, super happy, in fact. Okay, looks like we may be able to get things sorted. We've got the uh, table back in there. Good, good, good. Uh, Dewdrop failed while constructing plowed soil. Some resources have been wasted. That's fine, Dewdrop. It's it's not a big problem. It's okay. Uh, we could be doing something with that space, though. At some point, it would be would be useful to do so. Uh, Jaradan, why are you in there? Please don't be. 
Uh, is this a gathering spot? No. Is this a gathering spot? Um, you know what? I'm going to allow that to be a gathering spot. If you want to, you may. How's Wendy doing? Oh, poor Wendy. Look at those wounds. Minor asthma, though. Eventually, that can be improved. But there we are. That's all set up. And everyone is snoozing for now. Let's actually just check this out. Who's got uh, decent priority on research? Um, actually, Jaredan will work on that eventually. Uh, let's make... You know what? I'm going to have a couple of people with lots of other work move their work to a tertiary priority. Uh, for example, there. I think that's that's decent enough. We'll have two people who do it as, as a very important job. Ooh. What happened there? Oh, Yoko. You alright? You really that hungry? What's the matter, Yoko? Where Where is your... And you're not able to go in there and eat the delicious, delicious human noms? Are they spoiled? Hmm. How curious. Yoko didn't fancy the human noms. Oh, maybe she's missing Dark Avak. Maybe this is some form of hunger strike for a wag. Not eating people. Ah, no. Bad. That is not what I want to do to happen in here. Thank you very much. Let's uh, get that away. Thank you. Yeah, let's just take all of those roofs down that you just built. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I know, kind of annoying. Uh, well, right. Down here, then, I would not mind getting a wooden door just about there. And then we can tile this over with... Re uh, actually, with more floors, we'll use stone tiles all the way around. There we go. We've got visitors. There we are. They've got some items to trade, apparently. Uh, we'll check it out. We will. We will have a look. See if your items for trade are worth our time. Now, all of these we will unforbid so that they can get built sooner rather than later, ideally. And we are doing a fair bit of work down here as well. Okay, so everything is slowly getting put in the correct place. Really, what are you doing over here? Are, are, you, are you trying to be funny? Hmm... I think they're trying to be funny. Uh, let's also make sure that we've got a slate to block the door. There we are. Fantastic. Um, two drop has gotten food poisoning from a fine meal. Has worsened. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jaradan, are you war wardening? I mean, you've got a three in wardening. Uh, so, no. Uh, kind of need you to do it. I, I genuinely do. It needs to be done. Right, with all of this being done, I would think I would like some sort of... Let's have a look at the more floors. Let's go for... A wooden perimeter around the light wooden boards inside there. And it'll be lovely. Will I be able to get a decent uh, bit of furniture over there? Though? Like an end table or something? I will. I will be able to get an end table. I'm not sure I want to, though. Perhaps... Mm, I could just have a, a little lamp. Right about there. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe a, a lamp just there will do. And then we'll have a little tiny table, if we've got one. Tiny little table, right there. Like a bit like a, a little coffee table, really. And we'll have this there and there. That there and there. And this is going to be absolutely lovely. Do I have any ornate plant pots? I don't think that I do. Which is a bit of a shame. Let's go ahead and make an ornate square plant pot, please. Don't really mind too much what you make it out of. And with that, we're going to go ahead and place some soil around here to get this place nice and lit up and prepared. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Shall we then go ahead and expand the allowed area for animals all the way outside as well? Perfect. You're welcome to go out there. That's basically your little area out there. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. 
now. If we're able to, I would very much like to get the windmill built at this point. Uh, they left us a little bit. Uh, they were amazed by our hospitality, and they've left us some panther skin. Oh, that's lovely of them. This room is a bit of a mess, though. Unfortunately, I'm not too happy with that, I'll be, be honest with you. Uh, let's go ahead and check on Dark Havoc. They're almost all the way back? Wow! So why was it different? Why, why was it so much harder to go down there than it is to come back? That is bonkers fast compared to how it was when they were actually going down there to begin with. Uh, you going down there to grab some iron, uh, some steel. You know what? Make sure you bring back as much of it as you can. Oh, you didn't. Well, how annoying. Major brick risk. Miss Mini. Dewdrop is heading out to probably just grab a little bit of steel. I actually know you brought a reasonable amount back. Who just got hurt? Something just got walloped. I think that just took one of them out. A mm, little bit worrying, but okay. Miss Minnie is in a little bit of danger there with her mood. Fairly low as is. Uh, let's unsuspend this. Let's get some more smoke leaf done. Uh, let's actually have a look at her health. She's most of the way through it now. She's got a little bit of a tolerance to smoke leaf. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but that may actually become a bit of a problem for us. We need a little bit more... Um, soil though so let's build a digging spot right about there and i would like to dig the dig soil and do 25 times that should be more than enough for everything that we need to do with it uh hopefully you didn't just butcher a human make sure that you're not doing that no okay well, that's fair enough then oh you're making kibble that's perfectly fine oh really so frustrating. So terribly frustrating. But okay, we didn't actually have that much power, so it didn't cost us much to repair the fuses. But okay, not not uh, particularly happy about that one, I'll be honest with you. Oh, so much stuff that needs to be hauled in. So much stuff that needs to be hauled in. Right, how about you prioritize holding these meals instead? Because that's just getting silly. Hold the meals, thank you. And hold this meal. There we go, and that meal too. There we are. And all these meals. Could someone please haul in the potatoes? There we go. Perfect. And we can just drop all of those on the floor and they can get hauled away. Excellent. This is doing an amazing job there. Right, how many meals are we making? We're cooking up to 100 meals. There's actually quite a lot of the, the room in there. To be fair, we're not going to be working on pemmican for a while, it seems. But on the whole, I think we're going to be leaving the colony in a fairly solid position for now. I am going to designate all of these to be uh, deconstructed, though, because we need these bricks elsewhere. That was just a temporary defense for a time when we needed to deal with the mechanoids. And much the same up there. We'll just get rid of that as well. But that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, remember to like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, take care of yourselves.